Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. Now, last night, me and my guys was politicking about the Canelo Alvarez and Triple G boxing match and just boxing in general. Then I'm on my phone a little bit, and I'm starting to see it go down my timeline about a different squabble, a different boxing match between Tory Lanez and August Alcina. Now, they was reporting that August Alcina on several of them that August Alcina was knocked out by Tory Lanez. I'm like, man, but I'm going to tell you like this. With me, with things like this, I like to see full proof of confirmation before I get out here and really talk about it. A video, or is it coming from a credible source, or I want to see the two parties involved address it. So, eventually, it got put on all the blogs that Tory Lanez had something to say about it. And he said this. I don't know what everybody talking about, but I've been in the studio. I'm not in anything negative. I've been working on myself and being a better person. So I took that as a hey, man, it might not be true. Might just be some rumors. Could have been just a little verbal altercation or anything like that. And people ran with it. Who knows? But then it gets into this where August Alcina has now put up a whole story that went down with it. He said this. As I'm exiting the building after the show last night, a 4'11 size leprechaun ran down on me with eight oversized security niggas whom I greeted each individually upon their walk up as they tried to press me. Whole time, I'm one deep, no security. Tory Lanez continues to ask with a broken ego why I didn't dap him up. I go on to tell him, I was a fan of him and didn't understand him speaking on my business publicly in the past because I don't know him or ever met him until last night. So when he spoke it, caught my caught me off guard because of his past actions. I assumed he didn't like me. That's all. Not to mention with my history of health and condition just recently overcoming being paralyzed, my doctor directed me not to compromise my health while out on the road and shake as less hands as possible due to corona and monkeypox. Never any disrespectful words were exchanged. So I was a bit confused at how somehow he turned himself up with anger after hitting a blunt lace with cocaine, obviously. I heard the sizzle. And he snuck me when I turned my head to move to the side amongst all his anti moving and to keep an eye on the endless niggas that was with him surrounding me, which was the security and some, some nigga with the gun tuck, who he then proceeded to run behind and hide to run back in the building. There was never a fight, simply an assault. Dude has no real friends and is on a crash out mission. With that said, I was gonna keep it G and not come to the net, but you moving with the file, inter you moving with file intent, feeding fals falsities to blogs to look for a moment because the moments ain't happening on stage for you i will assist you in that gracefully his people got the whole thing on camera put the footage out i like to see it anyway let me go clean this blood off my face with some encina wellness this is genderless scare can line which you know you might as well capitalize on a moment and promo it and he said hey thank you for 15k in pursuit of encina wellness Follow to get snuck and sucked a punch in the face by a receding haired leprechaun and coins of lucky charms and gold begin to overflow out of your glowing skin and pockets. Hey, might as well capitalize off the publicity, man. And I'm going to tell you like this right here, bro. I would think and hope Tory Lanez is not crashing out like that. Y'all know this is an anti-crash out platform. Tory Lanez with everything he got going on. I would like to think and believe that he is smarter than that. I ain't seen no video to confirm it yet as in the time of me making this video. So I cannot actually get out here and say what happened and what didn't. I'm only speaking on it because they both addressed on it. So we shall see what happened, man. Tory Lanez or anybody in this situation. Bro, if you got a problem with a nigga, y'all ain't agreed to really get out and squabble. He ain't took nothing from you. He ain't put his hands on you. He ain't disrespected your girl, your family, nothing like that, bro. Y'all niggas just stay out each other way, man. Because all you're doing is crashing your business out. And the whole media going to pick it up. It's going to hit every blog. And guess what? Then it's going to be considered world news. Because rap and hip-hop is one of the top forms of entertainment in the entire world. They even got a TMZ section that says hip-hop TMZ. 
So anything y'all do, you got to be willing and ready. Know it's a camera around. Know somebody saw it, especially if you in a crowd in a public place. So y'all tell me what y'all think, man. We got more shit coming, more videos, all that. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show.